t-shirt because I got dressed in the dark. Well, what's going on? I'm going to light this candle today. All right. Pumpkin apple parfait. Good candle. Today, I'll be talking about hip-hop music. I love hip-hop music. But why do I love hip-hop music is the question. So yeah, we're going to dive right into that. We're going to be chilling. It's going to be popping. It's going to be fire. Let's get started, shall we? We are back again on the Things I Like series. And today, we're going to be talking about rap music. I love rap music. It is my primary genre of music. I love listening to it. I love making it. And I love being around it. I am a music producer, so of course I make, you know, rap beats and all that stuff like that. But let's go deeper, shall we? I was born in the 90s. I was born in the 90s. I wasn't raised in the 90s. I was born in the golden era of hip-hop music. And my mother being the young lady she was, she was a little younger than I was at that time. She would listen to all the rap music that was around. We, we are New Yorkers, so of course we would listen to like Wu-Tang and all that good stuff, Nas and Jay-Z. And I was around all of that. I would be a baby and I would listen to my mom listening to her tapes of DMX and Ghostface and all that stuff like that. And even at that time, I caught the rhythm extremely early. I caught the sounds that they were using. I was familiar with the rapper's voices. I was familiar with rhyme schemes and how things were rhyming. I was very immersed inside of that music. I didn't start following it on my own until I got a little older, of course, but I would listen to a lot of the, the songs that were out on the radio, like the Southern rappers was becoming really popular. I liked a lot of underground stuff. A lot of stuff that was in Tony Hawk games I found really good. There's a lot of dope rappers in there. And they weren't really unknown either. They were underground in their respective states usually, which is really neat. This was before like internet popularity of music. This was like a little bit before the internet. You can get popular and put your music out and then you get known internationally or nationally. You had your small pocket region that you're in and you're popular and that's how the Tony Hawk game kind of caught people which is really cool you know you know definitive jux and all that stuff like that I still have memories of my mother listening to Stillmatic not Illmatic Stillmatic which is still one of my favorite Nas albums of all time and hearing the song Poison and Rewind and just being so impressed by it and being one of the basis of how I write things which is pretty incredible. Here, I want to get that song up right now. Dude literally said, Bullets, I had plenty of screens, plenty for you. Because Jungle said, Block on your the enemies, the Hung up the phone, then the phone rang. I'm laid up in bed thinking it was pretty young thing. Who left? You see, like, that's so fire. And he said it in reverse, and he did it. Like, I can't believe that he could make a song backwards. I have never heard anything like that. I've never heard anything like that because I was eight, of course, but I mean, it was so incredible to me at the time. I took it to heart and it stayed with me forever, forever. Lyrics are the main purpose of rap music and the storytelling in these songs are so intricately told that you have to listen and you have to be around. There's storytelling and then there's lyricism and then there's wordplay and then there's similes that you mix it all together and you make something beautiful out of it, which is something that is mostly just done in rap music. My top five favorite album uh, and my mother's favorite album of all time is Bulletproof Wallets by Ghostface Killer. He put all of that inside of that album. The beat's pretty okay. I like the beats on there. But the wordplay and the stories that were told in these albums were so detailed and tension filled that you were just like holding your, you're like on the edge of your seat listening to what this dude had to say. Of course, I heard it a billion times since I was nine. I'm not really, you know, surprised by anything that is said in these songs. I just listen to it just because I like the songs. But if you're listening to it for the first time, you're like, wow, wow. Let's take the Hilton, for instance. 
So Ghostface sets the scene in the beginning of the track. Glitted out. Stout face tech Ray up in the hill. Her Nia Long was in the building. I can see everything. I can feel it. I, everything's tangible. I know how it, be, how it is. His homies are there. Nia Long might be there. It's going to be cool. Penthouse fashion ordered out room service. It looked bug because the waiter looked nervous. Lift up the lid. Scene two shiny 38s aimed at the kid. What'd I do? Duck! And you know, he's like, oh, it's a setup. You know what I mean? But I felt it. Even this one little sentence in the beginning tells me how it's going to be and what's going to happen. That's so fire. Hip-hop music is one of the only genres of music that you can do that in. It's literally like you're reading a book from a page, but with voices and beats. And I find that so incredible. And I love what it evolved into, and I love what that mutated into after that. Now, after this point in rap music this was almost 20 years ago it was like 19 18 years ago the southern rap started to become the dominant genre of hip-hop music the john dominant subgenre. excuse me we had west coast which was just on the other side of the country it was just as popular and then we had east coast which was the dominant side and then we had down south we had the ghetto boys we had People in Texas, Bun B, Pimp C, Underground Kings, all that, 3 6 Mafia, Ludacris. And then after a certain point in the 2000s, Southern rap became the dominant subgenre. And there's nothing wrong with that. So they, they had a lot of flavor to insert in the genre of music. They had an accent thumping huge 808s in their beats all of that and it was just it was fun a fun music and of course it was being criticized at the time but it was still fun music and you know being a kid at the time being like you know my early teen years or my late pre-teen years I didn't I embraced it I didn't care that much It, it still wasn't that bad the music still had some sort of substance to it it was just like it was just something you weren't used to a little bit more accessible a lot more danceable it was, it was very fun. I certainly did love the sounds that were used and the eccentric spirits that they had when they rapped. It was awesome. And of course, at that time, everyone was on the, the bling bling stuff where jewelry and expensive cars. And being a kid at the time, I was very much enamored with material things that they had. It was so exuberant, outrageous and crazy that I wanted it. And I thought it was so neat growing up and i'm, I'm kind of glad they're like slightly off of it they, they kind of went back on to it in in my like late teens you kind of stopped caring about that stuff and rap music wasn't really you started dressing more normal and <laughs> which is pretty cool and then you know everyone wasn't wearing huge chains and, and grills and stuff that kind of went out of fashion and it came back into fashion somehow which was kind of a surprise but whatever I I like it I liked it before it was pretty neat I'm not a huge fan of that stuff like that but I do love how gaudy and how they were dressed and it was cool and I was like wow I want to be like him the the material things I'm not going to go into the negative implications of all that stuff in this video I love rap music and that's what I'm going to talk about and I'm going to talk about the love of it in the next few minutes these songs convey emotion and it's, it's it's great that I can feel something when listening to these songs when they talk about how rap music is soulless and corporate it's more than that it's I feel it I feel it in a lot of these songs even the song uh, a shorty by um plies and t-pain I felt a longing I'm like oh man I want a shorty too mostly in not even in the way that they're talking about it because if you read into the song (laughs) <laughs> you, you know that they don't want they don't want a girlfriend or a wife they want a shawty oh. and I was like dang we, we all wanted that when I was like 13, 14 that's what we wanted we were like dang we want someone to like too we want someone to be there for and be with but I mean you, you kind of got mixed messages we were younger so we didn't understand but I still thought it was such a beautiful thing even the beat like you find a feel it with those 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 chords and those the tone you're like damn I feel that. I feel I want a shorty too. 
how romantic this sounds. Even though you're kind of being tricked into thinking it's romantic, it's not romantic at all. Which is <laughs> something I'll go into later. I love this genre of music. I wish I can go on more. I want to make a part two of this. Even what it evolved into now. The rappers who are out now, who are in my age group, what we're doing is so neat. You know, you can have, there's something for everybody right now, which is incredible. I love that so much. Even the mumble rappers that you might call mumble rappers, it's cool, it's tonal, it's music, it's fun to listen to. It, in fact, takes a lot of talent and skill to do. It's a lot harder than it looks, but it, it's done and it's accessible and it's a, a cool music to listen to. I'm not really one to be like, yeah, back in the day, it was a lot better. Yes, I think so. I think some of these rappers were a lot better. The, the, the worst rapper back then is like a mid-tier rapper now but hey it's still good and there's a lot of underground artists who are incredible the best rappers are probably not known right now which is pretty incredible you got to do a little bit of digging but it's still good with the internet and everything you can make your own music anyone can do it and i, I think it's a great thing and that's why i love rap music <laughs> Yeah, man. So that's been hip hop music. That's, that's my favorite genre of music. It's what I love. It's what I find heavily has influenced my artistic ability. It's a music I was born into, and it's a genre of music that is here to stay and has evolved over the years into something bigger than itself. So, yeah, I hope that you guys feel the same way. I hope you guys vibe and chill. Like and subscribe if you like the bell if you want to be notified about my uploads it's been real things i like peace